Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at binary options. Uh, these have become quite popular uh, in recent years. Uh, they are actually quite addictive. Um, the payoff on these options is dramatic. So in many instances, uh, they're easily um, presented as investment opportunities. Uh, but probably uh, the outcomes are more closely aligned to sort of gambling, racetrack, casino style outcomes. Uh, to understand this, we should probably take a look at the payoff structure on binary options. Um, if, we, if we can compare uh, the payoff on a binary option relative to uh, a vanilla type option, so if we took a vanilla type call option, and then compared against the binary call option. Um, we know from a vanilla style payoff, the, pay, the ultimate uh, amount of money that we either, uh, that we make is determined by the extent to which the underlying asset price or stock price here is greater than the uh, constant uh, exercise or strike price. So if at maturity or at expiration, the stock price is very far in excess of the strike price, then we stand to make a lot of money. If the stock price is relatively close to the strike price, but a bit higher, we make a small amount of money. Uh, if the stock price goes below the exercise, we get zero. And uh, to enter into a vanilla option, typically we pay a premium, and that's like a uh, cost uh, upfront that we must absorb when we enter into the call option. So the payoff here is not so dramatic, more dramatic and more levered than let's say just buying the stock and returns on the vanilla option we generally uh, describe as being highly leveraged. But when we compare the payoff from the vanilla call option against the payoff from the binary call option, we can see quite clearly uh, with the binary option, it's quite dramatic. So for instance, it could be that the payoff here would be $100. If the stock price goes above some critical exercise price at expiration, then the payoff is a fixed payoff, regardless if the stock price is way in excess of the strike or actually quite close to the strike price, we get the same payoff. If the, if the stock price is less than the strike price at expiration or when the contract matures, we get zero. So obviously comparing the two, we can see that this is dramatic. We could also perhaps understand why it's a sort of desirable type product if you are trying to entice people who are slightly more uh, orientated towards gambling and have a more speculative type posture uh, obviously, the payoff here is uh, much more uh, dramatic, much more like a casino type payoff or a racetrack payoff. You either win a lot or you make nothing. Uh, you also have to pay a premium for this and the premium can be quite substantial depending on where the stock price is. Okay, so let's just investigate a little bit how we might set that up in Excel. Okay, so we'll go in and share our Excel. And, uh, okay, so in a call or notting, we might consider a different range of stock prices. So zero, 20, 30. And then we pull that down, drag it down, and we might go up to 200, 240, whatever. And then what is the payoff? Instead of using, normally we would have max, s minus so if you like let's designate here for a second an exercise so k let's say is equal to 100 and if we want to calculate the payoff on a plain vanilla option it would simply be the stock price at expiration minus the exercise price and we can f4 to dollarize, zero, close the bracket, drag that down, and then to 
observe the payoff, we can go, come up to uh, insert and the scatter graph and we can set it out like that. So that's the payoff on the plain vanilla type option. What about a, a binary? Okay, so that's plain vanilla. Vanilla call option, right? What about a binary? Binary cash or notting binary? Uh, call so a binary and um, we'll say call right and uh, perhaps um, we'll just make clear it's a cash or notting okay so again in this instance we'll take the range from zero uh, up to 200 perhaps something like that drag it down to 50 and then what's the payoff here? Well, we can say, we, we'll, in this instance, it is a binary outcome. So it's if the stock price is greater than or equal to the strike, we're going with 100, we'll F for that, then the payoff is 100. Otherwise, payoff is zero, close brackets. And we pull that down. And when we hit 100 here, it should jump to 100 and continue to be 100. And then if we want to investigate the payoff here, I'd uh, go to insert again, scatter, uh, and then we can use this. Now, if we look at this for a moment, you can see we hit 90 and then we sort of interpolate, right? So one way we can uh, deal with that is when we get to 90, we could go 90, okay, we go 90, and then we go 99. Let's try this, go 99 here, and then 99.5, and then 100, and then, uh, 105 or one zero, 100 point five, and then 101 perhaps something like that and then we take next value 110 120 and then we'll take those two and drag and that'll bring us down to well 210 okay so you can see here uh, you know, uh, we get a binary outcome and the graph, the graph uh, basically um, what it does, Excel tends to interpolate between values, okay? Now we could do the same here. Right, let's just compare like against like for a moment. Right, let's compare like against like. Um, and um, Move this up a little bit, perhaps, and this one up a little bit, so we can make the direct comparison. And take these values here, copy, and we could paste over here. And it won't have any material effect on the graph above, except we only go up to 210. So comparing a plain vanilla call, plain vanilla, vanilla, call against uh, a binary, a cash, we might say uh, cash or nothing, right? And uh, cash or nothing, that's a call. Right, that's uh, the very dramatic difference between uh, both uh, payoffs. Okay, so that's that's a good starting point. Uh, perhaps also we might have put in uh, the cash amount. Sometimes we would say, okay, what's the cash amount? Set that as 100. Uh, perhaps in our, um, we could have changed this to be this value and F 
four as well and then pull that down along and won't make any again same estimation so if it was 50 if the cash amount was 50 you that's what our pay would look look like if the payoff was 10 if the payoff was 200 okay that's what the uh, the binary outcome would be okay now in the next video we're going to take a look at how we might value this cash or notting uh, binary option okay so here we just uh, demonstrate the um how to set up the payoff the ultimate payoff